Hey everyone, it's Liani. Same Mori. So we're bringing you another autistic moment. Uh, we were just discussing really quickly. We we're just discussing about um, our autism, where we run into with relatives, other people. They want to just act like our autism is non-existent because we can talk and we are, I guess, what the world says, higher functioning. Even though we burn out from things, well, we have. I have a burnout this morning because it was something that transpired yesterday. But at any rate, um because we can talk and we can drive but we encounter stuff on the road all the time that causes us to have burnouts and meltdowns and then we bring these things or or unfair justice things where we live at like our conditions there are not people helping us so that we can get in a better em environments that are for um oh geez i'm burning out sorry guys um can help us to have a calm environment. We need to be around a calm environment. We noticed when we used to live in the homes of other like uh, parents and stuff, the neighborhoods were quiet. We didn't, we were, it wasn't a building. So we were able to get sleep. We didn't have bags under our eyes. We weren't going through burnouts and things because it was it's, it's felt safe in, in the place, in the, uh, in the um, uh, house. And now that we're in a building and counseling, all kinds of people, all stuff, police coming in, all these things, like it's just too much stuff. And then they act like uh, 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 relatives that we have, some of them who are, don't want to be aware because we can talk and drive and, 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 and do, be, but by the grace of God, because he shows us how to do these things. We don't even know we weren't taught that uh, that we don't have it. They just want it to be non-existent or try to make us normal when it's like no god knew what he was doing when he created us he made us this way and he knew what he was doing and to bring awareness to people so and it's not one one size fits all so you can't apply what you know from another autistic and say oh let me throw that at them when we're telling you we can talk and we can talk for ourselves to tell you our weaknesses and our strengths and what we what we need is so you can genuinely help us but they don't want to just want to act like we don't have it and treat us like whatever or, or be rude and, and things of that nature which is not fair because we can talk and drive but we're in the road people sideswipe us or almost hit us or or ride on the back of us daily all the time that's why we don't like to drive and, and go to places they're rude to us and 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 it's just a, a everyday thing so it stresses us out so we're on edge and then they don't ask us questions so they can know no more but my husband has something to say okay um i was telling my wife for me for me personally, and she feels the same way too. I don't have a tolerance for people who want to deal deal with the positive traits, but at the same time, don't want to deal with the negative traits that come with our condition. So the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing with autism is not all about what, what was that you said, sir, baby? Uh, people want to babyfy us, baby. Uh, yeah, like infantile, us. infant, like treat us like yeah. like infants instead of like we're autistic individuals. It, Go it, ahead, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Go ahead. And 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 the thing and the thing and the thing is yes, even though we can function in the world like everybody else, but we still have struggles. And the thing is, and and for us, emotional yeah. and mental support is vital for us to survive in this society. Yes. And that's all I gotta say. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> it's it's yeah, cause that what he said. Like I can't even get my words, cause it's so much. It's just so much going on. We got to get out of this town that we're in. The police don't help us. They're rude to us. Actually, like we encountered yesterday something. It didn't even have anything to do with us. It was just cause of a neighbor and another neighbor were like going through something. And I guess the neighbor mentioned that, like you know, I also wasn't pleased with like the smoke smell or something that was going on. Which I don't know. I got brought into it, but I did. So I tried to. I thought they was called for that but it was a different reason come to find out and the officer was trying to get me on his body cam and i'm talking to him calm because i know he's looking for me to be in an uproar and i'm like no that's just not what i'm gonna be doing because you're not gonna be trying to take me away and no handcuffs for no reason because you corrupt i'm not doing that so i i did not give my information because i said well i didn't call you i said uh somebody else called he said oh well, that person didn't call i said well whoever called you i said i was just told that you had questions for me i thought it was pertaining in this situation and i said so no i'm not going to give you that information because i didn't call you so i didn't give it to him because that's my right i'm exercising my fifth amendment right i don't have the right i have the right not to say anything he wasn't prepared for that but he was very condescending and his partner was very condescending and this is what we deal with on a regular mm -hmm. and our neighbor he has a uh, mental disabilities i'm not going to disclose his information of what he all has but he has 
things also and in, in they were treating him very foul as well and the perpetrator the person who was doing the stuff because we're getting secondhand smoke daily and nobody wants to help and we don't know how to go about it for legal ways so if anybody's watching this please tell us how to get justice and our rights and things with the clean air act and secondhand smoke because it's coming from out of the person's apartment into ours and the other guy and the other guys in cancer remission so he definitely can't be smelling that stuff so also with that but it's just a lot we got to get out of this corrupt town that we live in um the officers are no help i still didn't get help for my harassment case or things pertaining to garbage people that were um harassing me and cornered me it's a whole thing guys it's a whole thing but i'm trying to figure out how to get justice for that because clearly our borough is not helping us and they don't want to and they're in on it because everybody knows everybody our landlords and superintendents so they're helping them out it's just a whole it's a whole mess so it's not good for our mental we're dealing with a lot and yet to go back we don't have parents or people that are jumping in like others would to be active and say let me get justice and help you but if we were i know it fits to our peers that are lower functioning but that in their minds that's how they viewed if they were they would help us right away but we shouldn't have to be on a lower fu functioning platform of autism or spectrum of autism for them to help us we need help we struggle and they know and they've seen it so it's just like help us but they don't want to so we have to get outside help from people that don't know us unfortunately right that's all we got to say these are the struggles it's coming out we're burning out meltdown and i really can't even talk anymore i don't want to i'm, I'm i need silence so god bless you all this is liani which this was a better note but this is what it is Say morning. Have a great day, guys. God bless.